Okay, episode two of Ahsoka was fantastic. You could really feel Dave Filoni in it. This show, it truly feels like a continuation of Rebels slash Clone Wars. The characters are just... You know that these are the same characters. And that... Um, like Sabine... In her conversation with the, uh, you know, something in the name, the uh, labor, I mean, saber droid, the lightsaber droid, where he's like, well, how's your training been going? Uh, was going? She's like, obviously, I haven't kept up with it because Ahsoka wasn't there. And he's like, that, that's no excuse. But like, hey, even without a master, you could have still kept training yourself. It might not have been as great as that, but and it's also going back and forth what was funny about how low on the bar of Padawan she is. Like, hey, every Jedi wasn't some out of this world powerful wizard. Because they're space wizards essentially. But also like like more of the world building were the fact that like, yeah, sure, after the Empire goes on, of course, like, some of those people would just be getting jobs in all these places. Can't necessarily arrest everyone. And that would take a lot of time. And then some people join because of fear and all these things. And I like that. That was a nice touch. I mean, it's, and like the person said, it's not like, well... They was asked about if they would uh, betray them. I'm like, hey, the only thing that matters is money. Which means, yes and no, essentially. I mean, we found out that some did. But, like Ahsoka said, it was greed. It wasn't loyalty. Most of the time, it ain't loyalty with, <laughs> with the Empire. So, it's usually something. Either your blackmail, money, power... You need something. But also like. Seeing Chopper. That was nice. And Chopper felt like Chopper. When they was talking to him. While they was about to put on the, the tracker. Also like. The landscape. Uh, spreads. Have, have been fantastic. Especially this episode. Like the transitions. Like they did in the shows. But all oh, that was great, and Sabine, like, got back her Mandalorian gear back on. And she's ready. Like Ahsoka said, you, you don't know you're ready when you when you know. If that's as far as it can go. And they both knew when they were ready. Called her a paddle one. But also, uh, I like the space, like, the ship, like, dodging and stuff. Everything looked good, fantastic this episode. And also, now I know the, that that is not of uh, interest, like I was saying in the first review, but I've always, always enjoyed, since Clone Wars, the involvement of the Night Sisters and Dathomir and all the cultural stuff with that. But I also really enjoyed Soka's fight this episode with the Inquisitor. That was a good, like, grounded saber fight. Now, I can't wait to see what happens next episode. Also, going to the far reaches of space, there's so much to be explored in this that we haven't seen before. You know, we do find Ezra, too, because we find in Thrawn. This great episode.